Good afternoon. Welcome to the Open Gate Show. Well, we have a double race meet once again. And it's not a bad program on both days, but as usual, I'll try to do my best. Remember, Saturday afternoon at 6.30 p.m., I will analyze Sunday's race card. The Open Gate Show is happy to hear that former track announcer and horse racing analyst, Mr. Howard Abrams, he has recovered dramatically, not in the sense that he is back to normal, but he's moving and he's muttering. So that's a, a, a good sign. You know, let's wish Howard Abrams family and fans all the best in their prayers for him. The Cardenas, as I mentioned on my previous show, is here and I'm understanding that he'll be riding next Saturday, that's the 20th of July. And, you know, it, he adds to the jockey colony and, you know, we, we hope he, he stays and we wish him all the best of luck. We go for a break and we come back. The show will continue at noon tomorrow. And we have the five years and up claim restricted 180,000 horses who have not earned 130,000 since February 20th. 16 starters, three, three furlongs straight or 600 meters straight. Number five, short step. Run well the last twice over this exact distance. One was a win against a few nemesis here. Very light, has speed, and um, and 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 has an apprentice who is anxious to get off the mark since the COVID reopening at Caymanus Park. Number eight, a love of the code. Another with speed, but holding it is a issue. Got thirty nine to one two weeks ago, going four for them straight. Should be in your top three, seeing not much stable confidence last time out. And it looked as if this race was the race connection to have it in mind to be more focused. Number six, rain overall. Number nine, rather, rain overall. The oldest horse in this field, who is fairly consistent, has speed to chase, as well as a bustling and hungry rider in O'Neill Mullins, must be considered for a top five honors. Number 10, number 10 from Spartacus, seen in fairly good condition, not sure you will enjoy this route, has a useful apprentice and could factor in your exotics. Number 12, Freedom for Eds, has the least career starts in this field, but get Dane Nelson. Surely the connection respects this rider, so you have to consider Freedom for Eds' chances based on that point. Number 13, John Marshall, um, last two runs uh, were 26 lengths last and 99 lengths second to last. And, you know, back quickly, I can't see how that horse can uh, return to be a factor here. But lots of things are happening since, since COVID uh, has expanded. Second race, it's for native bread trios only, made in condition, nine starters, they go nine from 25 yards or 1,820 meters. Number one, Gypsy Jam has been breaking slowly out the gates most times. Five carriers start yet over very distances without much showing. Her best was when she was stretching out to a mile, finishing seven and a half lengths fourth to Lord of Agilon favorite is who she meets again and Redford uh, Gypsy Jam broke slow, slowly uh, in that race. Busy at the has track and can improve to get up in the top three in a field of this nature. Number two, Sweet Renisha, she made her debut on COVID opening day, 20th of June, with a floundering display. Uh, 
finishing 29th to striking Lady Shibum three toppings going five for a long round. Two weeks after, ran an even race uh, going two furlongs more, seven furlongs after breaking slow and finish eight and six to then then big big daddy shaboom etc uh going two turns now that's asking a lot is she improving rapidly well not as rapid but good enough can she win it depends on if on if its favorite is that turns up or if the gypsy ain't eating jam tomorrow trainers richard todd is a top trainer and there are just a handful of good trainers at cayman's park presently number three champion michaela gets first time lasix number four favorite is should win but it depends on which pharaoh it is at the gates and on the turns in this race number five toughness will be prompt in the earliest number six state of emergency gets a much underrated rider in andrew martin who is the most educated rider at Camus park well why not you attend the best high school in jamaica and the caribbean possibly the world none other than jamaica college <laughs> okay let's get back to the racing this filly gets first time blinkers looking okay in the morning but seems to be a fractitious sort and being small frame may exert needed energy to go this far however she should be able to get on the board in this weak field number eight as you wish well you can wish he gets on the board for a better exotic dividend number four favorite is number one gypsy jam number two sweet renisha number six or number eight state of emergency or as you wish for fourth the third race it has 12 starters they go five from straight or a thousand meters race so meters straight it's for children up imported children up maidens and native bred trios we've never won two races in their lifetime number one uh who shot the sheriff uh u.s importy who has had only two career starts one on her debut on uh, January 26th of this season, racing on, ra running on after breaking slowly, yet get got within one and a half lengths to the Spencer Chong unbeaten US importy uh, fast car. We shot the sheriff in that five and a half furlong race, ended up running 106-1 that's good came back february the 15th over this course five for them straight led but weakened a bit and ran second two lengths behind stable companion either one has been signed line and obviously has been the program uh number six well she galloped in that race, that fast straight race, her time was 59 and 3 fifths. The, the race, it was still made Eagle One. Number six here, KD Rocket, uh, was coming off a four month break and 35 length fourth in that race. How would Sh Sheriff get this light impost? Only Supreme Ventures racing office knows. Worked brilliantly last Saturday morning. Five foot on straight at 59 and 3 fifths. My first four for along in 46 flat effortlessly. Who shot the shells should be exposed and take a picture in the winner's enclosure to go to jail in the testing barn. Unless a rocket hits her at the winning post. Number two, Attorney General could close for a minor share. Number three, another prosecutor, Fast Philly, who was head on with number six, KD Rocket, when number one, who shot the shells, got beat by race car. Working very well and will have great players focus, seeing a prosecutor will intend to find out who shot the shells. 
Number five, no work permit. Uh, another U.S. importee um, getting first time blinkers after two recent career starts. Trina Patrick Lynch horses are unreadable at times. Really amazing horseman, this Patrick Lynch. Mr. Lynch, the open gate show, sends respects to you, sir. Number six, Katie Rocket. Um, hails from the Gary Horse Whisper Sobratis Barn. First two career starts last season showed how useful he is, especially when breaking his maiden second time out easily over this five from straight route. Was sidelined for four months, returning with first time Lasix in his subsequent races and only displayed um, that former talent the last time he raced on March 7th. The season will not, well, not much stable confidence in that March 7th run, as the odds of 21 to 1 suggest. His last two exercise workout, first with um, Rome with me on June 6th, and then with Basil, Basil Likos June 5th, you know, weren't pleasing as he lost both badly. Not all horses shows well on the exercise track, but on on race day, it's different. Number seven, Basilicus, not an impressive looker, but this horse, he can run. Number eight, awesome boy, a debutant, a U.S. importy, will be de debuting with Tom Tai and Lasix. Born the 13th of January, Chestnut Cold, by Awesome, of course, by Spaytown Girl, by Spaytown. Breeder LLC, Y Low Raising Stables. Owner, the Success Farm, Groom, Trevor Bernard, Trainer Gary Sobrati, with Stable Rider, Robert Allardy. This well bred importy is medium built, is a medium built cold who looks quite youthful. May need this, even though it's bred to show instant. Display first out. Number nine, Fantastic Freeland had a fantastic ride when breaking when breaking her maiden on the 27th of June, written by Shane Ellis. Has to improve much more to better these. Shane Ellis, he again rides. Number 10, Loose Ball, I'm not impressed with how he is presently looking. Number 11, Rough Love, another U.S. importer here, will have lots of support. She has to beat me. Still, she didn't, she, she doubled okay and, and um, can improve, but she just don't catch my fancy. Number one, who shot the sheriff from number two, KD Rocket. Number three, another prosecutor. Number eight, awesome boy. Race four. It's for native materials only. A main condition race, nine starters. They go nine from 25 yards or 1,820 meters. Number one, War of Roses. Well, this is section two. Number one, War of Roses. Uh, stretching out after two career starts. His last was okay when first time Lasix was applied. Uh, run evenly, finishing third, seven lengths behind Silent Seeker, Puskas, um, out the five from straight. Should improve further, but doesn't strike me as one with much potential for this distance. Should be in your top four though, because the field is weak. Number two, Miss Gabidon, another who simulates my opinion as on number one, Wars the Roses, except she's bred to get the distance of ground hair in this race. Number three, Jacaris gets an apprentice who is 33% in the one, two, three. So far this season, this apprentice is blessed with natural talent, but, 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 but. Number four, XY Soul has been steadily prepared for some time now. Could ensure the pace will be a contested one, but is in the hands of Shane Ellis, which is very important. Um, of note, this horse ran well on debut, going a mile against my time now, and Sense City. 
have to break in very slowly. If XY sold is reprogrammed, then the chances are he could be one fighting this one out. Number five, Zapatoni. Uh, note this horse, um, well, may plot on for a fifth spot if this is an I-5. Number six, Big Mama, just starting to show some promise. Number seven, Helmetto, all English blood, top and bottom, and breeding. This horse will stay forever. Has been weakening in all four career starts. COVID has made lots of positives for some horses. Let's see if Elmeta is one. Number nine, Big Big Daddy, unlucky and last. Last two starts, he ran his best. Um, yet, both in visor. It's off now. Tomorrow, 56 kilo going this far and allowing um, other formidable opponents weight is one. The other concern for me, does he get the distance? I hope so for Gilles about its sake. Robert Halladin, jockeyship will be tested, of which I think he will show how good a rider he is. Number nine, Big Big Daddy. Number seven, El Meta. Number four, XY Soul. Number two, Miss Gabidan. Number six, Big Mama. Race number five, 15 starters, seven furlongs or 1,400 meters. Uh, it's for native bred five rows and up, who have never won two races in their lifetime. Number one, Trickster gets the hood on, which will limit the amount of noise she hears. Could get her focus and be in the middle order of your exotics at a square price. Number two, Glitter Running gets the first time Lasix after 13 career starts, coming off a seven month break. Number three, April Spirit could duplicate that last placing when she ran third here, to, uh, when she ran third here tomorrow. Number four, Alexis Starr, fittest horse in this race, is consistent yet costly because a lot of uh, people have backed this horse on many occasions to win. They all have to chase her, this, this Alexis Starr. Let's see if she can pass, if they can pass her this time, as Robert Halliday is in the pink of form and is oozing with confidence. Number six, Golden Eye, possible a low exotic spot. It could be in the making. Number seven, Golden Emperor, ran poorly last week without visor, and Shane Ellis was aboard and got 30 to one odds. Has been training okay for quite a long while, and not only um, the horse is getting back the visor, but also getting back Dan Nelson was said to, to ride him uh, on last. Um, I'm expecting this one to be more focused than that last run on the 5th of Ju July, but I don't know if that will make him glow gold or glow bonds. Number 11, Break of Dawn, last was poor, behind stable companion, breaking, runaway winner, Breaking Storm for um, this connection. Paul Francis, he, he's now riding this one. Number 12, Cora. Could, could close for a minor share. Number 13, Estelita. Seven furlongs she's going. Uh, not sure this horse stays this journey, but we'll see. Number 14, whatever, broke slowly, and that was that on 4th of July. There's a saying, if you go to the funeral, it's best to go to the resurrection. If there is, well, whatever. Number four, Alexis Starr. Number 14, whatever. Number seven, Golden Emperor. Number one, Trickster. Number three, April Spirit. In that order for me. Race six, seven furlongs again, or 1,400 meters for nearly about four years and up. One maiden. It's a maiden condition race. 14 starters. Number one, hardworking man. Could again earn a show on the board. Number two, in the blood. I don't know if you, this was sorted out. Yet, a run, on, well, get a run under his girt. Um, get an apprentice who is yet to win a race, looking for an upset, you could try this one. Number, number three, Black Royalty. Uh, I figured she would have earned a, a low I, I5 pacing on last, but she didn't. Maybe she does now. Number four, Top Gear, can do better. Number five, Kaka My Love, loudly whispered for her 
run on the 27th of June, um, but behaved erratic en route to the starting gates and ended up late on starter. And confident that would happen this time should be considered seriously for a winning display. Number six, Nurse Percy, uh, if focus could um, show an improved run and be in your top five. Number nine, Cruz and Jed will be on the lead with a few others. Number 12, Dream of Mine, taken to task exercise since uh, her debut on the 27th of June. Now getting first time, day six. I, I like this this really how she charged herself, but you know, I'm not sure she's ready. Um, you know, but who am I? David Leeson, he loves horses, and I'm sure he will bring this horse to the best of his ability. Number 13, case clothes working well prior to that run last week. Capable sword who can win. Shane Ellis normally does well for this connection. Hey, she came off over a year sojourn over an unsuited trip in Five Long Strait, although got three to five. Um, reverts to a, a preferred distance, seven furlongs. Well, case could be close. I would like that for trainer Alfred Brown. Number 13, case close. Number five, Talk of My Love. Number 12, Dream of Mine. Number two, In the Blood. Number one, Hard working man in that order. Race seven, 16 starters, six furlongs or 1200 meters. It's for four and up, who have never won two races in their career. Number one, Deep Blue Sea. How deep is she? She looked like she is going places with that facile maiden breaking win two weeks ago. Now focusing, now, fa now facing a decent set of, of opponents. However, must be, must be fitter coming off almost a nine month break and he's playing at that fast time winning display deep blue sea will be hard to beat number four la 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 bamba consistent enough and should again find a place in the top five number five special counsel youthful philly with very light must be fitted now she's looking good when i saw her a couple of times this week and i'm expecting a good display from special counsel number six celebration uh big size philly who is consistent at speed as well as versatility in how she runs paper light and will run well for the hot barn of trainer ian passard number seven out on a limb has a look in especially as evident on last closing to be within a length behind number six celebration when boat race uh, approximately three months ago was a late enough starter at the gates three um three weeks ago uh due to uh, sustaining a minor injury nothing to really hamper her when another competitor turned over in the starting gate and she was taken out of the race Number eight, Liv is outrageous, another of trainer Alfred Brown's entrance on the card. Expected to close in this race with hopes, especially um, as it's possible that the speed will be will collapse. But Liv is outrageous has to be not only outrageous, but courageous in order to win. Number 13, Inspired Miracle came came back off the COVID race resumption and ran okay last week. Although it got beat 13 minutes, going a mile in the second spot by Alam Delilah. Fitter now, this Inspired Miracle. Number 16, Better Boy, not, not that busy on the exercise track, but you know, I've been going to the sea and um, it could be considered for a minor share. But I, I think the Thor is going to need this race, especially going only six furlongs. Number one, though, Deep Blue Sea. Number 13, Inspired Miracle. Number eight, Live Without Rages. Number five, Special Council, Dangerous Horse. Number six, Celebration. Number four, Lala Bamba. That's how I say it for that. I'm going for a break. And when we return, well, rather, when I return, we'll continue 
redress it. Welcome back to the Open Gate Show. Let's get straight to race eight. So choose an up, open allowance race, seven starters, six and a half furlongs, all 1,300 meters. Champion trainer Anthony Nunes is four against three others. Number three, Patriarch, won four in a row, well, won four in a row in the last four starts, but won't win this one. Number four, Chase the Great, very light, former great one horse, the only one in this to spoil the champion trainer, Anthony Nunes' expectation of winning this race. Number five, Super Luminal, no whip. Well, how interesting. Number six, Tunis Liata, quite a number of years since a local horse has carried 59 kilos. This small colt, uh, but talented colt, uh, has carried 57 kilos aplenty and performed well, even winning races with, it, with that weight. Tuna Siliata with 59 kilos is on the borderline distance where the weight of a straw would, be, would take a toll. I'm expecting him to win in pole to pole fashion. Number seven, stablemate Prince Charles should be in the trifecta. Number six, Tuna Siliata. Number four, Chase the Great. Number seven, Prince Charles. In ninth race, for chosen up, it's a claim restricted 250,000 race for horses who have not earned 200,000 since February. 14 starters, seven furlongs, or 1,400 meters. Number one in the Arazi will be in the top five again. Number two, Jamaican citizens, spinning the race uh, mayor, hence my concerns. And adding to that, three of her last four starts, she displayed a lack of a lack for holding her uh, gallop well. She doesn't have much to unsettle on the lead in this race. Her danger is holding it out, that speed I'm talking about, in front of all these horses past the winning post. Number three, star walking girl could be looked at. Number four, top eagle could pass fading ones for an exotic placing. Number five, hologram shadow has looked far better since claimed by Gary Griffith, one of the winningest horses in local horse racing. Uh, looking, uh, looks the top competitor here and will take some beating. Number seven, Senor Kwanzi, um, the former champion rider, Anthony Thomas, um, aboard. And, and that makes it interesting. And uh, Senor Kwanzi could, could have a say in the top three. Made all the light, fit to now. Number 11, powerful red, uh, the lowest exotic, in pl exotic placing is a possibility. Number 5, hologram shadow for me. Number 2, Jamaican citizen. Number 7, senior quantity. Number 1, India Raza. Number 8, holy light. Race 10, the penultimate race. And it's for children up. The claiming tag of 800,000 to 850,000. 16 starters, seven and a half furlongs, or 1,500 meters. Number three, World Vibes, 10 year old who last, uh, Vichy was at this exact trip. And that was some time ago, though, on 21st of September last season, beating um, Atlantic Blue and Storm. Big exercise is light enough to do okay if focused to do so. Number five, Storm Valley. Good horse, this one. Uh, when he focuses, he does well. Ran well two weeks ago. Uh, uh, and um, will be more focused. Will, 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 be better over this more favorable journey. Um, he has a chance to be in a top four, surely. Number six, Wilson came from over a year hiatus, recuperated from a physical issue and won. Now going a furlong and a half further, Wilson can repeat for trainer Patrick Lynch and rider Robert Halliday. 
Number eight, the functional normally performs well. This is, our, this is his favorite journey, but he ain't himself at present. Still, he could be in your mid-order exotic places. Number nine, Ricky Ricardo, the rider switch and distance looks positive. Has been traveling well at exercise for a long while now. Regardless, he ran poorly three weeks ago. I'm expecting a better display at come tomorrow. Number 10, Corolando closed like a runaway train two, uh, two weeks ago against number six, Wilson, who is here again. Still looking in good condition and um, can be on the board as uh, maybe, but chances are he could be more focused this time. Number 14, Dante. Uh, former grade one horse who is in claim for the first time. On paper, he looks to be the one. He will earn any day in any grade one races going a mile and beyond. Well, he, he could have. Not much of those horses, not much of those horses are around. In, uh, well, not much, Grade one horses are around, that's what I should say. And Dante could have earned a lot of money. We run campaigning in those races. So why in claim now? Can he win? Yes. Do I like him? No, because of that point. Number 16. That's an interesting horse. Number 16, stable mate, San Cyro. Two quick starts since the COVID resumption. Tomorrow may come a focused animal and could run surprisingly well to be in your, well, maybe super factor at least. Number six though, Wilson. Number nine, Rick Ricardo. Number 10, Coralondo. Number 16, San Ciro. Number five, Storm Valley. Yeah, number three, Royal Vibes. Number eight, Functional. Number 14, Dante. All have a chance to win, but I don't have to remind you, my opinion when selecting is mine only, and you don't have to take it, as you surely will have your own after this show completes. Let's get to the final race. And this race is a very tricky one indeed. And you know, it all depends on what happens with the way the Costa horse roll is later in this one. Seven and a half furlongs again, or 1500 meters, two consecutive um, seven and a half furlong races. Um, 13 starters, four trails and up, optional claiming 40 to 50,000 with five rolls. Who's never won three races in their lifetime? Number one, Emma's pet dropping chunks of weight after showing late running twice since the COVID reopening, will be in your top five tomorrow. She should. Number three, Devlana gets the Nelson back, um, but you know, who won't get my, my fancy? I don't think this horse has a chance, but anything can happen. Number six, Madam Secretary trotted, it, trotted in past the post on February 15. This band, anyway, does amazing things at times. Number seven, Royal Bob um, was eased before approaching the winning post and last when he ran on the 22nd of February this season. Number eight, Royal Aviator passed tiring ones and last to be six and a half left ninth against much better two weeks ago when the Costa could score another last race victory. Number nine, Forest 30 should perform for Stephen Todd here. Number 11, number 10 rather, Mirabilis, consistent and competent enough to fight out the top four slot. Number 11, Ballon d'Or, may surprise with a decent performance. Number 12, Dios de Oro, seen in very good condition, but is yet to do well coming off a layoff. Number 13, Luana, another here who is blessed with consistency. This rider, Anthony Thomas, rides her eight of her last nine starts. 
And um, she's up against uh, Nemesis number 10, Rabelis, again. Should be in, in the top five. Tough race, as I say. I like number eight, Royal Aviator. From number one, Emma Pet. Number 10, Rabelis. Number nine, Flower 30. Number 11, Baldur. Number 12, Jose Laura. Four and a top six horses in, the, in, in, in this race, in that order. Um, top five selections on tomorrow's card, race two. Favorite is race seven, Deep Blue Sea. Race eight, Tuna Ciliata. Race 10, Wilson. Race 11, Royal Aviator. At this point in time, I, the Open Gate Show is sending condolences to um, former tipster on the Open Gate Show, Philip. I'm sure a lot of people remember Philip. Wallace say you can go to the bank and everything, but he didn't say a bank with money. You know, he, you know most of his tips were, were you go to the bank. Well, maybe he was talking to blood bank. Anyway, Philip had passed away last Wednesday, and you know, uh, nice guy, and you know, I, I hope that his soul will be at peace with the Almighty. Also, I must mention um, Howard Abrams again. Uh, he has improved um, somewhat. He's moving a bit now, and uh, has been, you know, muttering. And you know, the Open Gate Show always gives our fans, all Fritton fans, that is. Um, some indication on how our horsemen are progressing when in this state. Uh, so I wish you all the best of luck. Remember, the Open Gate Show can be heard on YouTube. And um, tomorrow afternoon at 6.30 p.m., I will analyze Sunday's race card. Very interesting card indeed. English England Rose is back. Sharp. And, uh, not sharp and ready, is it? but you know, facing a very interesting field in the unbeaten with the unbeaten Spencer Trong Richard Lake own race car. Okay, that's it. Take care and hope you make some good decisions and uh, get what you expect. This is Colin Blair. Take care tomorrow.